Hello everyone. Let's discuss the important questions and tips to pass the operating system subject. And this is especially for the Gen 2H R22 students. So before entering into the important questions, we are having some tips to pass to the uh, tips to pass the operating system subject. The four steps are first prepare any three chapters perfectly. So prepare three chapters which you feel easy. I request you to prepare unit 1, unit 4 and unit 5 because these three chapters are contains very less topics and you can easily understand it and in, if you are good at solving the uh, if you are good at doing the scheduling algorithms then you can prefer the unit 2 also. So I request you to prepare unit 1, unit 4 and unit 5 and mention the side headings clearly so whatever the side headings like subtopics uh, whatever are there you have to mention it up. Uh, clearly and must write algorithms and the programs if they ask if algorithms and the programs are asked in the problem then you have to write it compulsorily because you can you will be having a chance to score more marks from the algorithms and the programs i have already made a video on operating uh, algorithms and the pro programs in operating system subject so watch that and the fourth is must draw the diagrams with pencil only. So whatever the flow graphs or the diagrams are there, you have to draw it with pencil. So these are the tips to pass the operating system subject. Now let's look at the important questions unit wise. So the unit one, so that is uh, we are having the two parts. One is operating system and also we are having a process part. So the importance are operating system objectives and the function. So this comes under the introduction to the operating system and operating system services and operating system operations. Next is the types of operating system. So some types are there for the operating system that is network, distributed, real time, serial, simple batch, multi-program, time sharing, embedded and personal parallel. So these are some of the types of the operating system at least one question will be asked from the types of operating system and explain system system calls and types of it examples of a system calls the system calls can be asked for the five marks and next differences between the network and the distributed system operating system calls so you have to uh, differentiate between network and the distributed operating systems next is multi processor system so in the multiprocess system, we are having the asymmetric and the symmetric. So it can be asked like differences between the asymmetric and the symmetric multiprocessor systems. And next, compare and contrast short term, medium term and long term schedulers. So it means you have to differentiate them and you have to mention the points in each of the schedulers. Next, queue and diagram representation of process scheduling. And cooperative process, we are having the message passing and the shared memory. So these questions are from the process part, which is the second part of the unit one. And next components of computer system. So only we are having very less topics from the unit one. So just the types of operating system and these schedulers and differentiation between differentiate between the asymmetric and asymmetric and network and distributed. So these are said to be one of the important as it contains the very less topics. So I request you to prefer, prepare the prefer the unit one for your preparation. Next coming to the unit two. In the unit two we are having some important topics uh, like a deadlock avoidance bankers algorithm. We will by using the bankers algorithm we will avoid the deadlock so that process at least one question will be asked on the bankers algorithm which is important for the 10 marks and this is from the second part from the first part we are having scheduling algorithms as i told you scheduling algorithms are very important which can be asked for 5 marks or the 10 marks so some scheduling algorithms we are having are hcfs sjf priority and round robin so these are the four scheduling algorithms so they will mention the question and they will ask you to solve the question by using any of the scheduling algorithm so this is can be asked directly for the 10 marks if in a problem or if in a question they didn't mention whether it is a primitive or non-primitive then you can do any one method 
but if it is mentioned as preemptive and the non preemptive then you have to write both so these are the scheduling algorithms next multiple processor scheduling uh, then we are having some system calls from the first part of the unit 2 that is fork exit wait wait pid and exec system calls so these are the system calls and you have to write the programs for this next we are having deadlock detection by resource allocation graph next recovery from deadlock next differences between the preemptive and non preemptive scheduling algorithms so these are the topics important questions from the unit 2 next coming to the unit 3 so in the unit 3 we are having process synchronization pro, uh, hardware and producer consumer problem using semaphores explain reader writer problem using semaphores this is said to be one of the important and dining philosophers problems using the semaphores and using the monitors next differences between the named pipe and unnamed pipe next differences between fifo and anonymous pipes next ipc between processors on a single computer system so that nothing but it is a shared memory so ipc nothing but it is a inter process communication mechanism this is the second part of the unit 3 and the first part is process management and synchronization. So in the second part of the IPC, we are having IPC between processes on a single computer system and IPC between processes on different uh, systems. So this first part includes the shared memory and the second includes the messaging queues. And then next, so these are the important for in the unit 3 next coming to the unit 4 so which is a very easy chapter in this the main important is page references page faults so this is said to be one of the important and very easy in the unit 4 so the first is explain the differences between the internal and external fragmentation consider the following page reference string so page reference string is given so with three frames how many page faults would occur for the following replacement algorithms Replacement algorithms are FIFO, LRU, LFU, Optimal. These four are the replacement algorithms. So solve these four replacement algorithms on this one question. Then you can attempt uh, in the exam. Either any one can be will be asked in the exam. Either FIFO or LRU or LF, LFU or the Optimal. So practice this problem. If you practice this, you can attempt any question in the problem related to the replacement algorithms. And differences between contiguous memory allocation and non-contiguous memory allocation. Steps for handling page fault. And explain demand paging. So these are said to be important from the unit 4. Next unit 5. It is one of the easiest uh, chapter. The first access methods. In access methods we are having three types. Sequential access, index access and direct access which can be asked for the 5 marks. Next, free space management. This is very easy and which can be asked for the 5 marks. Next, we are having the allocation methods like contiguous, in linked and index. These are the allocation methods. Next, directory structures. We are having four, four, directory four directories. Single level directory, two level directory, three level directory and a cyclic graph directory. So, these four are the types of the directories. Next, finally, we are having the usage of open, create, read, write, close, LC system, stat and ioctal system calls. So, these are some of the system calls uh, which, which will be asked in the exam. So, prepare the system calls and along with this, prepare the programs for each of the system call. So, programs and algorithms must be written if they ask in exam. So, that will help you to score more marks. And I request you to prepare the unit 1, unit 4 and unit 5 perfectly. Then you can score more than 35 marks. And for OS notes, DM me on Insta. The ID is yd underscore dka. And subscribe to my channel. All the best for your exam. And watch my previous video on the algorithms and the programs in the operating system. And thank you.